So what are we going to get into today? Well, today I want to build a smoke box. I got some neat projects I think coming up and I just did the smoky corn uh, bourbon. It's in the bed mo barrel, you know, aging up. But I said I had some other ideas. I've really been getting into this smoke flavor. I just can't get away from it. But I wanted to build a dedicated smoke box. Okay, and that's what we're going to start today. Uh, but first things first, welcome to Stillworks and Brewing. My name is Randy, and this is the channel that's all about home distillation and brewing. All right, so I will show you how I build this smoke box, and uh, we'll go from there. Uh, so let me go ahead and get the parts cut out. I mean, basically, it's, I got a sheet of plywood and a few other boards, and no, uh, we'll get this built. So let me go get those parts cut out, then I'll be back. All right? Okay, so I'm back. I got my smoke box done. Hey, and I am not a carpenter, so I know a lot of you guys might be carpenters out there, but I'm not. Okay, anyway. I made my smoke box. Let's check it out and then we're going to give it a try, okay? Okay, so it's really simple. It's just a box. And inside the box, yeah, I got a metal tray on the bottom for our smoke tube. And the trays for the grain. Alright, and this is what you call a smoke tube. It's full of those pellets that you use for grills. And what we'll do is we'll light it and set it, set it on that bottom tray. And we're going to see how everything smokes, okay? And then the other thing I have is on the bottom down here, I got some adjustable vents, two holes on each side, and then adjustable vents up top, okay? So, let's see if we can light this smoke tube and we'll get to see what's going on, all right? Like I said, you just fill this full of them pellets. It usually lasts two or three hours. Uh, so you get a And we just want to take a torch and light it. Just get one end burning pretty good. And usually when you get open flame like that, Oh, excuse me. Let it burn for a little bit. Usually it only takes a couple minutes. Get some good uh, coals on there. And I got it on that metal tray. Open up some vents. I'll open them all up for now. And then what I'll do is, once it gets going, then I can always shut them, you know? Okay. I mean, you can start to see. I don't know if you can see it. It's got smoke coming out of the top, out of the top vent, so it's sucking air in the bottom. And it's going to start smoking everything. Let's just open it up. It's all filling full of smoke. Okay. 
Okay, so what am I going to do with this smoke box? Well, I, I'm, like I said in the beginning, I want to start getting into some smoke grains. I don't want the peated. Uh, I'm thinking just a light smoke on some grains. I got a special uh, project that's going to be coming up here shortly for you guys. And I needed this. Uh, I think the last time when I did the corn, I did it on my barbecue grill, but I just thought this might be a little bit easier. So, like I said, I don't know if you can see, we got plenty of smoke coming. All right, I mean, I hope you can see that. We got these uh, trays. They're just a wire mesh tray that we'll put the grain on so the smoke can go all the way around the grain. Uh, we got the metal tray in the bottom. You can see the smoke going on down there. All right, so we just put our grain on the trays, light the smoke tube, and forget about it for a few hours. All right. I think it's going to work out real well. If it starts burning a little bit too fast, I can cut the air down on it. Okay. All right. So, I guess the last thing I got to say is, hey, thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you next time here on Still Works in Bruin. Cheers, everybody. I think it's going to work out good. I really do. Might have to play with it a few times just to learn it, okay?